This male and female possess the dominant mutation curly on one chromosome 2 and plum on the other chromosome 2. When they make gametes, one gamete will have curly and the other will have plum. If an embryo results from a curly bearing sperm fusing with a curly bearing ova, this embryo dies because curly is homozygous lethal. If a curly bearing sperm fertilizes a plum bearing ova, or a plum bearing sperm fuses with a curly bearing ova, the embryo can survive. If an embryo receives a plum mutation from each parent, it will also die. Plum is homozygous lethal. And so all of the flies from this cross will possess a chromosome 2 with curly and a chromosome 2 with plum because any other combination is lethal. And these chromosomes have been modified so that chromosomal mutations such as inversions will ensure that there is never crossing over or recombination between these chromosomes. If there is, the embryos will die. And so all resulting embryos from this cross will possess one copy of chromosome 2 with curly, one copy of chromosome 2 with plum, otherwise they do not survive. The same is true of the chromosomal 3 mutations, dikete and stubble. These are each located on a separate chromosome 3, and so that a sperm or ovum will receive a chromosome 3 with dikete or stubble, but not both. Embryos which receive copies of the chromosome 3 with dikete from both parents will perish because this is homozygous lethal. Embryos which receive a copy of stubble from both parents will perish because this mutation is homozygous lethal. And so flies must possess one copy of chromosome 3 with dikete and one copy of chromosome 3 with stubble because having two of either of these mutations is lethal. And recombination does not shuffle these genes between the chromosome 3 copies because inversions on these chromosomes would make any such recombinations lethal to the embryo. And so one can be assured that the progeny of this cross will possess dikete on one chromosome 3 and stubble on the other chromosome 3 because any other combination is lethal. Technically, all four of these mutations, while they're often referred to as dominant, are not dominant. Instead, they are incompletely dominant. That's because the phenotype of being curly or plum, or dikete, or stubble is not the homozygous condition. Death is the homozygous condition. And so these phenotypes are incompletely dominant. They are partway between the homozygous conditions of being wild type or the homozygous condition of being dead.